keeping the focus and sharing the vision. So a strategy that has evolved over time, um, we've started actually mapping out our year on a whiteboard so that everybody sees the plan. And in fact, um, on the same whiteboard it has developed in our last um, March staff meeting after some new learning, the staff in grade level teams identified what their implementation plan was and what the evidence of that work would look like. So they start filling out this plan. So no longer does the principal have to own this or even just the teacher leadership team. Collectively, all of the teachers are identifying their next steps. And you'll notice on the anchor chart, uh, at the beginning of the year, when we identify our growth edges, our classroom practice growth edges, uh, create a systematic way for teachers to use and analyze student data to make ongoing instructional decisions for core and flexible groupings. We put these charts around uh, the library and uh, we do a carousel and teams walk around and together they discuss what is their existing state and then using research evidence-based practices such as the essential literacy practices, they look at the desired state. So what does research say that we should be doing in this area? And that comes with us to every staff meeting or it's in the background so that teachers are constantly reminded of the why. This is our goal. This is why we're doing this work is to achieve um, success in this area. And then we always have an anchor chart. This is what our data dialogue notes are going to look like. And quite honestly, that has evolved over time. And it's so exciting to see how these leadership teams are really taking it to that next level. So where to begin? Create a space for the data dialogue. You need to make sure that there's space um, and tables is set up for uh, that collaborative conversation. Provide a data wall for teachers to organize their students. I have tried this with many staff, either having it um, digitally or in a file folder, but success comes when it's made visual, when it's made public. So those data walls on a whiteboard that's movable um, is so valuable. For over 15, 20 years, I've been doing this with staff and it's the data wall that builds that collective ownership. Provide common data reports for each teacher to focus uh, on one subject at a time. When they get really um, comfortable and have built that capacity around say reading, then move on and add uh, math. And you will know when teachers are ready to add another subject area. And have the highlighters, chart, chart markers, and sticky notes, et cetera, available. 